Hi guys, it's me, Callie, AKA Hot Pink and Glitter. I am so excited for my first Amazon Live. I cannot wait to see all of you guys in the comments, so make sure and say hey when you're here. We're gonna be doing curvy summer to fall transition styles today, so I'm gonna be trying on a bunch of my favorites, as well as some things I just ordered from Amazon. They are all linked down below in the carousel. James is here with me, so if you have any questions, drop them in the comments. Let you guys know if you hang out with me all the time, I have bad eyes, so I'll do my best to see the comments as quickly as I can and answer any questions. But I'm gonna be sharing some outfit ideas about how to take some of your favorite pieces that you can wear right now, or if you're looking to build your closet, some things that'll work while it's still really warm out, and then how you can take them into fall. So, um, hi, hi guys, thanks for the stars. Um, anyways, I'm starting out, this is just gonna be kind of my starting point. Um, for those of you who are just hopping in, I snagged these shorts um, just last month and I was not sure how they were going to fit, but I have become such a fan. So we will be starting here because I know that I live in Los Angeles and for anyone who lives in a warmer part of the country, we still have some quite warm days ahead of us for the next probably month and a half or two months. Um, so hi friends. Uh, these are super, super true to size, fit really great, high rise, button fly. I love the length. They're kind of like a mid thigh length. So they weren't too short for me. I didn't have any issues. Um, but I still think that they're going to work all the way into probably halfway through September for me here in California. So if any of you guys live in warmer climates in the Southwest like me or in maybe even in parts of the southeast where it stays warm. I know that here it can start out cool in the mornings, it gets really hot in the middle of the day, and then by the evening it cools down again. So we're gonna talk a little bit about that transition as well, just during the day. Um, hi, hi friends, hi. Um, I'm trying to look at comments at the same time, you guys. This is our first time, so bear with us. Um, I also just got this shirt in. I'm just giving you guys a little breakdown of where my starting point is. Um, all of the items that I'm going to be wearing today are linked in the carousel down below. Um, if you have any questions about fit or anything, I will do my best to answer your questions. But this t-shirt I just got from Amazon, so, so comfortable. It came in a ton of other colors, super stretchy. I thought this was great for just like a classic summer look as it's still really warm here. I put my white sneakers on, but I also think that this kind of burgundy red is gonna be really great for fall as we move forward. So I'm gonna show this with a couple of other items that I got. I also wanna give you guys like a little bit of a sneak peek of what's coming up. I found not one, but two pairs of wide calf boots that fit me. So I'm gonna try those on today for you and talk a little bit more about them. I have a knee high pair and an over the knee pair. And then I also have wide width booties. So I've had a lot of requests, especially as fall is coming up for wide width shoes in general, not just wide calf. And I found these wide width booties that are so, so comfortable and really, really cute. Um, they came in a bunch of different colors, a really great size range. They also come in regular width, so if you have a medium width foot, not a problem. But we will talk about those. I got some accessories, highly requested by you guys. So we're going to talk a little bit about like fall accessories, all kinds of fun stuff. Um, so let me know if there's any questions. This shirt, I would absolutely get it in black. Oh, thank you so much. Okay, I can see you guys' comments now. Thank you, Latrice. Um, this is super true to size. Hi, Patty. How are you? Um, it was really affordable. The prices of exact sizes and colors are gonna vary as you guys know, but they are linked down below. So if anyone has any questions, I just thought that this was like a very realistic kind of OOTD, if you will, while it's still warm. These white sneakers I got before our trip to Sweden a couple of months ago, and they were so, so comfortable. So if you're looking for a good pair of versatile white sneakers, these definitely have that like designer look for less. If you guys catch my drift, I can't say what brand, but these are linked as well somewhere in the carousel and they're very comfortable. So I'll style these a couple of different ways. Um, and then, like I said, these are the Levi plus size jean shorts. I frankly, until very recently, didn't really ever get the chance to try Levi's because the stores that I had gone into didn't have plus size Levi's, but I ordered several plus size Levi's items from Amazon. These shorts being one of them, a jean jacket that we're gonna talk about in a little bit being another one. I was so impressed with the quality of the fit and how true to size they were. So I got my true size in these jean shorts, true size in the top, super comfortable. But I, this whole live is gonna be about like summer to fall. So I wanted to show you a couple of cute ways 
that you could take a look like this again here we live in southern california um it gets cool if we're gonna go down by the beach in the evenings if you have a bonfire if you're having a barbecue um so a few different ways that you could style this for when it gets a little bit cooler um i'm just checking everybody's questions hi lupita hi it worked yay hi guys okay um this is our first amazon live so thank you so much for bearing with us as we kind of like make sure that we can answer your questions and see everything i wanted to show you now i know denim on denim isn't for everybody but while we're talking about levi's this jean jacket is available in regular and plus sizes in multiple washes i got the plus size version obviously and it has stretch to it which makes it super super comfortable now, if you wanted to wear denim on denim, it is like a very classic look. So if it gets cool at night, someone had a great question. So I wanted to show you guys about rolling the sleeves up because there's such good stretch in the denim. I have slightly larger arms, especially my upper arms that can sometimes make it difficult with things like jean jackets, blazers, tops without stretch in them. This jacket is ultra comfortable. So if you've been looking for a good jean jacket, I think that this one is a great one to consider again super true to size the denim is stretchy so even when you roll this twice it doesn't feel really restrictive and i just think it's like ultra classic and very very cute now this is a denim on denim look but obviously you could wear this jean jacket with a lot of different stuff i do love denim with red though so i actually think this top is kind of a perfect match but again this shirt came in a bunch of different colors and I think that this material is the, the great transition piece. It's short sleeve, it's super lightweight and stretchy. So when it's 100 degrees right now, you can wear this, you can put a jean jacket on and it's not bulky. You know, it's not like gathering in, this, in the arms or anything. So I think that this is really cute. Um, let me know what you guys think. But I think if you guys are down, we're gonna maybe try on a couple of different, a couple of different outfits. Um, I wanted to show you, an alternative to jean shorts that I just found that I think is really cute. Same concept for kind of summer to fall, which is a denim skirt. I just got this in from Amazon and I thought it's very, very cute. Latrice had a question about the jean shorts and uh -huh. sizing. Yes. What size did you order? And it says it's showing her European sizing. Uh, yeah, I think that it's showing like probably 34, 35, 36 Latrice. Um, I have to double check. I will double check when I take these off because I'm actually going to put this skirt on for you guys right now. I believe I got the equivalent of an 18, which is my normal US size. So I will double check right now for you um, because the tag, once you get them, has both sizes. It has like US sizing and whatever European sizing or inches that they're using, but I will double check for you right now. I'm going to put this on so that you guys can see because I think that this is really cute with this shirt. And we'll talk about a few different ways that you could style this going into fall. I'm going to step off camera so I don't get kicked off the internet. Um, but I am here. Feel free to drop your questions down below and let me know what stuff you're snagging. If anybody's shopping, that we could be twins, twinsies. Alma, the shorts are also listed in the carousel. They are Levi's. Yes, they are Levi brand. And to answer your question about sizing. I'm going to find the size here in a second. Okay. Somebody in the comments said an 18 would be a 36. That sounds about right. That sounds like what I would have ordered. Yeah, I think so. This actually says 18W inside the tag. So apologies on that, you guys, because I believe that I guessed 35 or 36 because that's what I would order in other brands to be an 18. And whatever I ordered was an 18 and it fit correctly. Okay, let's just talk about this skirt for just one second. There's a little bit of a delay. So I wanna make sure you guys can see it. Is this not the cutest? Not too short. You guys know I have a little bit of a booty and so sometimes skirts can be too short for me in the back. Super soft and stretchy, true to size, okay? So like right now, I would probably just wear this with this t-shirt or another t-shirt and sneakers super casual I'll come back to that jacket later which is great the jacket's a 10 out of 10 you guys i love it so much um but how cute is this just right now for summer take a good look because we're going to transition it into fall here very shortly but i just have sneakers on again this came in plus sizes i'm wearing the 2x i'm an 18 so 
You go, girl. I love it. Um, but let me show you how I would take this from summer to fall because that's kind of the theme for today. So Nikki asked, is that jean or cotton? It is jean, right? It's denim. It's denim. Yeah. It's <clears> a lightweight stretch denim, but it's definitely a jean material. <clears throat> Great question. It does have real pockets, deep pockets, by the way, buttons, very comfy. And this is pretty much how I would wear this right now. I would maybe add a jean jacket or whatever else if it was evening, but this is very like summer friendly to me. I think it's time to bust out some of these boots though, because I, I feel like you could really style this cute with boots. So I'm actually going to ask you guys what you would wear because I'm curious your insight over the knee because the skirt is short, but not short, short, but, or knee high because they both fit. They both fit. Like okay. What do we think? I'm just curious to, to hear what everybody has to say. I will try both of them on if you'd like, but I actually, great question. I actually generally wear more gold jewelry overall. Um, I used to wear more silver jewelry, but I lightened my hair and it has highlights and I feel like it goes better with gold now. Um, but I do wear mixed jewelry. Like I have like jewelry where it's actually silver and gold together. I'm wearing this necklace, which is in the carousel. And then I got these hoops. I really like them. They're very, very lightweight. They're in the carousel as well. They came in like a five pack or something like that. So very cute. Knee high. Okay. Tink says over the knee. Knee high, knee high. Okay. I'm going to have um, James cut off this little piece of brand new boot packaging right here for me while I try on the knee high boots. Um, thank you. But so these are linked in the carousel as well. You guys, we're going to talk a little bit more about them because I'm going to try them on probably five different things. Um, but I ordered these in my normal size. I wear a size 10. These were Dr. Scholl's wide calf boots. I believe that they came in multiple colors. Let me take off my sneakers real quick. Um, I got this dark brown color and I tried them on. I was so pleased that they fit. Very comfortable. I'm going to step off camera so that my skirt doesn't get, get me in trouble here. But you guys are going to see how well these fit. And how cute this is for fall. You could also add tights. You've got three or four comments thinking a booty would look cute as well. I have a booty. And uh, uh -huh. just wait. You all are in luck. Yes. I'll give you a sneak peek. Yeah. I'm telling you right now, you guys, these booties are so comfortable and they come in wide width, like wide foot. Thank you. Um wide calf besties. Let's just take a moment to appreciate the wide calf boots. No problem, zip up. How cute. They also came in another color, I do believe. Totally true to size. They're Dr. Scholl's brand, so they're super, super comfortable. As soon as I put them on, I feel like I could walk all day in them. They don't feel like you need to break them in like a lot of boots do, and this would be just so cute. So this is one look. I kept that same t-shirt on. Now I'm going to style this a little bit differently and kind of pull in some more of these brown colors. Tell me what you guys think. Look at this cute graphic tee I just got. What do we think? I feel like this is like total fall colors. You can see the different, this is just like perfect fall colors to start with, right? So cute. Anyways, I'm gonna slip this on because I have brown boots now. And then we can try a few different things. I love a graphic tee and I also think that this will look really good with the short booties, but you can already see how versatile this skirt is and these boots are. We're just changing out like a couple of things and it's so cute, right? I love this. And then you could take either the jean jacket or I got like this little corduroy jacket and you could add something like this for fall. Maybe roll up the sleeves. You could add tights if it gets really cool where you are. It really doesn't get that cool here. So realistically, tights are a fashion statement for me. Hi, Jamie. I fall oh, queen. Thank you. Um, I believe these only came in wide calf, if I'm not mistaken. Um, the sizing will be listed under the product listing. So if you see the product in the carousel, like for the boots, 
and you click it, it should have sizing details. Um, I don't want to misspeak and promise that they come in a different calf size and then they don't. I know these are the wide calf and they fit very comfortably. There was no issue zipping them up. There's not a ton of extra space, but you'll see in a little bit, I'm able to put jeans on under them, no problem. So I think something like this is just perfect for fall though. What do we think you guys? This is like a very fall outfit. Thank you, Taylor. So this um, jacket, I love, I just ordered it. I will be ordering it, I think in another color. Um, it's like a really lightweight corduroy material. As you can see, I ordered my true size and it's still like a slightly oversized fit, which I love. It has a nice long length. It would look great with skinny jeans or leggings. Comes in a bunch of colors and I would say it is very true to size. I'm an 18, I usually order like a 2XL. This is a 2XL and it is not fitted. So I wouldn't be concerned about needing to size up in my opinion, you can just stay with your true size. But this, you could interchange jeans, you could do leggings, you could do a bunch of different things. Um, you could probably even put this over some kind of like boho style dresses would look really cute for fall. Um, really, really comfortable. This is like a pretty lightweight corduroy. So I would call it a medium weight over piece. Corduroy is normally really thick. This is slightly lighter weight, which I like because I live in California. So this is about as much as I would ever need, but just keep that in mind. It's not really bulky. However, that makes it really comfortable for me because I can move really easily. It's in no way restrictive. Um, it actually has a little bit of stretch to it. I don't know if you guys can see that on camera, but it makes it easy to move around. I don't have any tightness in the shoulders or anything like that. So I hope that that is helpful. Um, Yes, we actually have a plaid jacket coming up. I don't want to like spoil everything, but I am going to give you guys a sneak peek. Look at this one also. One of the questions I got from my followers was about how to style a jacket for fall so that it didn't feel like it was kind of swallowing them whole. So I got this one and I think that it's really, really cute. Um, okay, let's try on some more stuff. Uh, this is, I think, a very cute summer to fall outfit. Again, you could just wear sneakers with this the way that it is or even sandals with this graphic tee. This t-shirt came in a bunch of different colors too, so you can get different backgrounds and different colors on the prints if you're looking for something to match specifically. Um, I am going to switch out this t-shirt and keep the skirt on for just one second. Well, maybe I'll put on some jeans, but I might try, okay, I'm gonna wait because I was gonna show this to you guys later. I know not everyone loves skulls, that's fine. I do though. I love skulls and it's almost Halloween season, so I love this because I think that you can wear this all year round, we could wear skulls all year anyways. But if you're into Halloween and spooky season like me, I think this is such a cute way. We start celebrating pretty early here and getting decorated pretty early. So it's still really hot. So this is a great way to be kind of festive when it's still like 100 degrees here in September. Um, but then it will look really, really cute under like your jean jackets, your shackets. Um, I would totally wear this with this with like maybe black leggings or black skinny jeans or even just regular jeans. You can wear this with a million different things. So I'll try this shirt on in a little while because I have a pair of jeans I want to show you guys. But I did want to give you a sneak peek because I do think that it looks really good with that jacket. Um, okay, next up I want to talk about summer dresses and how you can take summer dresses that you love to wear right now all the way through fall. And I'm going to leave these boots on for some of these dresses because I think it's the perfect way to transition your dresses. Um, I have a few of like very... To me, these are like my everyday summer go-to dresses. All right, so all of these are linked in the carousel. Happy to answer any questions on sizing. They were all true to size for me, but there's some really easy ways that you can get those dresses to enjoy now and then style them for fall later. So I'm gonna slip into one of these dresses and then we'll talk about it a little bit more. If you guys have any questions, you can still type in the comments. I'm just off screen so I can change. Uh, these are all Amazon, Nikki. The uh, carousel at the bottom has all the items listed. On a phone or even on a computer, it'll usually only show about three at a time, and you kind mm -hmm. of just have to continue to scroll to the right as Callie goes back and forth between products. All of these products are also listed in Callie's Amazon storefront in her various lists, whether it's denim or summer dresses, things like that. Yes, good point. And actually, if you're watching this, it should show my name, Callie Hot Pink and Glitter, and then there should be a little link somewhere that says View My Storefront. If you're ever looking for all of my Amazon picks, you can go that way as well, and you can kind of browse at your leisure. Um, okay, this was one of my favorite summer dress finds this year. 
Um, the size range on this dress is incredible. So if you are looking for plus size or extended plus, it comes in straight sizes as well. But I believe that this went up to a four or five X. I have it in two colors. I love it so much. Um, I ordered the blue one and then without knowing, James ordered me the green one during the My Boyfriend Orders My Clothes on Amazon for Me um, series that we did. And I actually love the green even more. Um, but it comes in solids and then some of these smaller prints. I'm gonna get a little bit closer so you guys can see. It has like this really small kind of a print. It's sort of a cottony feel, really soft and stretchy. Very true to size, if not a little bit generous. So if you can imagine, I've been styling this with sandals or white sneakers so far this season. And that would actually be how I'd probably continue to wear it for the next month or so, but I do think that it looks really cute with boots and I'm going to grab that jean jacket because as if anyone needed one more idea on how to wear this jean jacket, I think that this is a really, really cute transition look. Um, again, if it gets really chilly where you live during fall, you could absolutely add tights to this. Um, you could unroll the sleeves if you need a little bit more warmth, but you get the idea. The same pair of boots that I was wearing with the skirt are really comfortable. I'm wearing my true size and everything, which I was so happy with because it makes shopping so much easier, obviously. Um, but yeah, I think this is just a really easy way to totally transform a dress that would otherwise have probably been retired from my closet for summer and had to wait till spring the next year. So let me know what you guys think about this one. I like the green a lot. <laughs> like I said, I had the blue. I buy a lot of blue for myself and I wouldn't have normally gone with this kind of Kelly green. But I actually think that it's perfect with denim and brown, um, but I really, really like it. So this is this dress with boots and a jean jacket. Um, I have a couple other dresses here. Same concept. So this is another dress that James ordered for me. I actually think the colors lend itself perfectly to transitioning for fall. I wore this dress on our cruise a couple of weeks ago and got several compliments. It is super stretchy. I would actually say that this one is sized a bit generously. So if you're between sizes, in my opinion, you do not need to go to the, to the larger size. I think you can go down. You definitely do not need to size up. It is an ultra, ultra soft and stretchy material. It does have pockets. And again, you can see that this would work perfect with these brown boots, with a jean jacket. Um, same with this dress. This is one of my favorites that I've tried on a couple different times for you guys. And sunflowers usually bloom kind of late in the summer anyway. So if it's starting to get chilly at night where you're at, this is a really great option to add some boots. Still works with your sandals and your sneakers if it's warm where you are, but don't forget that you'll be able to style these a lot of different ways. Claudia S asks, how tall are you? I'm five foot eight, Claudia. Great question. Thank you for asking. Happy to share any information like that, you guys. Um, you could add a light scarf, 100%. There's so many little accessory ways that you could make this work for your lifestyle your events, your occasions, your weather, all of that kind of fun stuff. Um, you know what I was thinking, you guys? I might try this on with these booties as well because I think that this would look really cute with the booties. Somebody else was talking about the jean skirt looking cute with the booties. Um, what I was gonna say is that you could also do that cream shacket with this dress. This dress in particular has these little cream flowers on it. So kind of an easy mix and match, but I wanted to put together like pieces for you guys where you could get a few new things that really worked now and later and mixed and matched. So I mean, I've only tried on like five things, they pretty much all go together. So tell me which one is your favorite if you're more jean jacket or if you're more shacket. I'm curious what you guys think, but um, let me slip on those booties because the booties would also be good with both of these other dresses. And I wanna talk about how comfortable they are really quick because I was really, really surprised there's a great size range in the booties. They, um, I think they come up to, I'm not promising you guys, but I think they come up to a size 13. Um, some sizes come in wide and there's a variety of colors. So lots of good options in the booty situation. And I believe these are leather. Also a cute option, especially if it's maybe a little bit warm in early fall for you guys, wherever you live, to wear knee-high boots. Here, it can get a little bit warm, 
still, like I said, through like September and October. So a short booty is a really good option. I ordered these in the wide foot. So, so comfortable. This is another pair of boots that as soon as I put them on, I didn't feel like I'm gonna need to break them in. There's double zippers, inside and outside. They are both functional. So if you struggle getting your foot into boots or booties at all, these are much easier in my opinion than most of them. Again, did come in a couple different colors. Would look great with denim, skirts, jeans. Very good, highly recommend. I'm actually gonna take one of these off and show it to you up close though, you guys. Um, not your typical Amazon Live content, but that's fine. They have really nice distressing details here. Everything just looks like perfectly worn, I guess. Just has a really nice look to it. The quality is exceptional. These are Lucky Brand. Um, I was just really impressed with the fit. Very, very comfortable, very true to size. So take that into consideration. If you guys have any questions, please let me know. I'm wearing the 10 wide, not that it matters, but um, if you have a wide foot and you've been looking for cute wide booties, this is a great option. Um, let me know if you guys have any questions about the things that we've talked about so far. Um, otherwise, I'm gonna probably switch into a couple of different things so we can talk about some other styles. Yeah, the dark toe detail is so nice. It has that like really kind of luxury leather look, which I feel like can be really hard to find in wide widths. Sometimes we're left with just really simple options. Um, so it's a great detail. The quality feels amazing. And like I said, as soon as I put them on, it didn't have that feel like I was gonna need to break them in or wear them a bunch. You know what, Ashley, that is a great question. Do they come in a velvet finish? I don't recall, but the product should be linked down in the carousel. It came in a bunch of different colors. The different colors vary depending on what size and what width you're looking for, but um, I would check them out. So, because that would be really cute. Yeah. Yeah, the shacket is great, you guys. Again, it came in multiple colors, true to size, has some stretch. It's like that really perfect medium weight. It's nice and long, um, which was, I was actually kind of surprised about. So I was really pleased with that. Um, okay, I have a couple, oh, okay. I shouldn't get this excited about this, but this full disclosure, this item that I'm gonna show you only comes to an extra extra large. It fits me, I'm a size 18. We have talked about it at length because this is my fourth one of these, okay? I own this already in pink, periwinkle, and black, but it continues to be your guys' number one selling Amazon item from my storefront every single month. Um, I get pictures, um, email, you know, emails and DMs on Instagram of you guys wearing this and it looks so cute. This is actually a romper. It kind of looks like a dress because it has these layers at the front. Um, and again, this falls more into like a curvy find because it really only fits up to like my size in my opinion. I will try it on so you guys can see what it looks like. Um, but if you happen to wear my size or smaller, I did want to include it because so many of you, especially for like those early fall nights going out and things like that, you wanted something that was still fall appropriate. One of my best friends wore this exact colorway to Nashville for her husband's birthday and she looked adorable. It has this little tie in the front. So I'm going to show you guys this, but I just had to get this color. Um, I am happy to report that if you go to the product page, they now sell some of these colorways in a short sleeve option. So if you are looking for something a little bit cooler, there is a short sleeve option in some colors. So something to keep in mind, I'm gonna put this on. This is one of my favorites. Um, like I said, this is my fourth one. So I just couldn't resist getting one in a fall colorway. Let's take a look at it. Um, if you haven't seen it before, it's a very cool, different kind of an option for a romper. I hadn't really ever tried anything like it before. And then next thing you know, I have four of them. If anybody in the comments has one of these and loves it as much as me, tell me what color you guys have because I actually was on like the cruise I was on a couple weeks ago that I was telling you guys about. Um, I saw somebody wearing it in the casino and I went up to her and I was like, oh my gosh, I love your romper. I have the same one. She was like, oh, I have the pink one at home. I was like, I have the pink one at home. So everyone bonds over the romper. Yes. Okay. 
I'm gonna put on some little sandals that I wear all the time. These are also linked, you guys. I don't generally wear heels. It's just not really my thing. But I have these in two colors because they are so, so comfortable. So I just slipped these on. It is short, Lindsay. Listen, if you're not looking to be sugar-coated around here, you found the right spot. Because <laughs> I'm gonna tell you, it's short, but because it's a romper, you still have coverage, as you guys can see. I mean, I have a full, like, four fingers below my booty. I feel perfectly fine, have worn it out before, had pictures taken in it before. Never felt like I was at risk of, you know, anything kind of crazy. Now, for fall, depending on the color that you get, I actually think you could wear this with tights and boots because it looks like, almost looks like a dress in the body, right? So really, really cute. I love the color. Another thing to keep in mind is I'm five foot eight. So if you're any shorter than me, the length is gonna be longer on you. I have some friends who have this who are like five one and five two. It's probably down to here on them. Um, there is a snap at the top so you can choose the neckline that you like, um, but there's a little bit of stretch in the material. I'm not gonna spend too much time on this just because I don't think that there's, we don't need to style it a whole lot. It's already like inherently a summer to fall item because it's a short, um, but I really love it. I just wanted to give it a little bit of a shout out because I just think that this color is so perfect for fall. Um, but it does come in other colors. Like I said, I have the black as well, which is a great like all year color. There's a lot of really beautiful prints. Um, it's so cute, right, Ashley? Yeah, it's definitely worth trying. I actually think I will try this later on this year with tights and maybe an over the knee boot. That is one trick that I learned. I don't remember where I heard it, but someone was talking about how an over the knee boot almost gives the look of like a legging. So if you ever have something that's really short, you can always pair tights and an over the knee boot for like a little bit of extra coverage. And I did that last year and it made me feel really, really comfortable because I was wearing some over the knee boots regularly and I just added some tights and it was really comfortable. So um, again, because this looks more like a dress, easy to style that way if you would like. Speaking of dresses, another really, really cute option. I've shown you guys this dress before in different videos, but in a short sleeve light blue version. I went ahead and ordered this in the long sleeve version. This is another dress that is short. Um, it is slightly shorter on the sides and goes down in the front and down in the back. Um, the material, again, this one only comes in an extra, up to an extra, extra large, I believe. Um, and that's the size I got and it fits perfectly. The material is gorgeous. It does have some stretch to it, but I also thought this has a little tie belt. This would look great with over the knee boots and or tights. So you could wear this now with some cute sandals, kind of like something what, like what I have on right now. And then you could make this totally fall winter. You could add a jean jacket to make it a little more casual. You could do some suede over the knee boots. I think this would be great for pictures. Um, and again, a ton of different colors. Does come in short sleeve. So if you do live somewhere particularly warm, you don't have to get the long sleeve version. Um, but yes, yes, if you're five foot three, gonna be a totally different ball game for you. Cause again, I'm five eight. So you're gonna have several inches of difference in the length. Same with this one. So I just wanna show you guys these two options because I think they're both really cute for like girls night, brunch, date night, um, pictures during fall season. I think the colors are just absolutely fantastic. Okie dokie. Let's talk about pants and jeans. Um, huh? I know that um, that is like, what color tights? Great question. The burnt orange is amazing. Um, <laughs> yeah, I don't care either that it's short. I personally am just, I just like got comfortable with it because I loved it so much. Um, so I actually have colored tights. And if that's something that you guys are interested in, in a future Amazon Live, I would be happy to talk about like fall accessories like tights and we could talk about colored tights. Um, I actually think that you could do a dark brown tight with this with brown boots would look gorgeous and make the whole thing very fall. But I have seen some really fun tights coming out in general, just, you know, like um, I have a color, a almost rust color, a, um, like a hunter green. You could do a sheer, like a sheer chocolate would be really pretty. Um, so there's a lot of different things and we could definitely talk about that. Okay, let's talk about pants and jeans. I have three completely different options. If you guys are like me, I wear jeans, full length jeans, even in the summer, I wear them all year long. So I have a few pairs that I wanna show you that we can talk about that you can wear now and then how to transition them for later. 
Um, we're going to show three different things. As you can see, look at the colors. So stinking cute. These come in a bunch of different colors. We're going to talk about that. A few people have been asking for flare jeans, and that's what I found here. So I'm going to try some of those on and show you how they look with a few different outfit ideas. And um, tell me what you guys think. Okay, so I'm going to step aside and put these jeans on real quick. And then we will um, put some of the boots on so you can see what they look like. And if you can see the bags, can you guys see the bags on my little stool back there? Do not let me forget to talk about that backpack, you guys. I got that backpack in. Let me tell you, what a treat. What a treat. whole outfit change going on so don't mind me okay so these pants I just got them in, don't mind the tag noise. Um, they came in a ton of colors, really, really stretchy, high-waisted. They're supposed to be like booty lifting. You guys can be the judge of that. Um, I ordered these in my normal size. I actually think I could have gone down a size, so maybe if you're between sizes, take that into consideration. Um, but having said that, I love the feel. Now this is a pretty fall look, but I figured you guys could use your imagination on what jeans and, t and tennis shoes look like. Um, I also got this shirt we're gonna talk about, and these are those boots I had on earlier. You can see they still fit comfortably over jeans. So really, really comfortable. I just got this in, again, a bunch of different colors. The jeans, they're almost like in between jean material and like a stretch chino. So they're not super thick. They are very stretchy. I would consider them in between medium and high waist. They come just above my belly button. They have three buttons here, so they feel really secure. They feel like they're giving you like a little bit of shaping almost and no gap issue in the back. So three cheers for the jeans. However, again, I would at least consider the sizing because if you're between sizes I think you might need to size down I would have probably preferred to size down but I still want to show them because I think that they're really really cute and I love this color for fall um, let me know what you guys think about this color but they did come in others they had an olive green which I think would be gorgeous as well um, and a good size range so I think this is perfect for fall again a nice compliment to a nice brown boot you could certainly do the booties with these as well and then I got this Henley I think that when it's not too cool yet, you can probably just wear this more or less as is. Um, but here's the chef's kiss. Lindsay asks, how does it fit in the midsection? How does the top fit or how do the, the jeans, jeans fit? fit? The jeans, they're, the whole of the jeans, Lindsay, great question, are very stretchy. The material is very stretchy, so as you can see, Although I have no gap in the waist, I still can stretch the waist. So the material itself is really stretchy, um, but I would say that it's in between a mid and a high rise. It's not ultra, ultra high, but it sits just like the top of the um, waistband sits just below my natural waist. So I hope that that's helpful. Very comfortable. The material itself is not ultra thick, so it feels very, very stretchy. Jasmine, all of these items uh, are posted to her storefront. Yes, Jasmine. In various question. categories. Yes. So all of these are posted, um, and then they are featured in the carousel down below as well. 
So if you guys are looking for them right now, they should be popping up as I'm showing them. I'm just give you some layering ideas here. Okay. I know that this is like a fall look, you guys. Okay. I get it. I get this is not like a transitional look. I don't know anywhere where this is a summer outfit, but the jeans with sneakers and like that first um, band t-shirt that I showed at the beginning with, with white tennis shoes or sandals would be very cute. But let's take the same jeans and talk about fall because this outfit is everything for me. This is like, catch me at a pumpkin patch. Someone give me a pumpkin beverage. I am going to be the happiest of all of the girls in all the pumpkin patch in this outfit. This is just so cute. I could wear this <laughs> anywhere. <laughs> I, would wear, I would wear this anywhere. I live in California, it doesn't matter. This is what I will wear. So, so cute. I would love to hear your thoughts. The shacket is true to size. So, we were gonna talk about styling shackets. I feel like shackets have really like come into their trend this year. They were still kind of hard to find, I thought, in plus size last year, at least high quality and well fitted. Um, this year, as you can see, I already have a couple of different options that we've talked about. I think that the key with a shacket is A, to find one that fits well. I struggle with shackets when the material is too rigid. If anybody has been struggling to find a shacket that they feel works for them and enhances their outfit to max capacity, a lot of times it's because it is such a thick, stiff flannel that I feel like it's shapeless. It's, it's this big boxy shape. If that's your vibe, rock on. That's not my vibe. I want something that's a little bit more flowy. This is definitely still a medium weight material. This is giving you a little bit of warmth, but it's allowing it to kind of fall close to my body instead of being this big bulky item. Um, I also think finding something to wear underneath it that is not too bulky in an ideal world really does help me. This is nice because it gives a little extra warmth because it's like that kind of waffle Henley material. So even if it gets chilly where you're at in fall, you're getting a little bit of warmth. Now, if you live where I live, you can just wear a t-shirt or a tank top. I'd probably wear a crop top underneath, it'd be fine. But it's nice that this is also not too bulky. So I really was very pleasantly surprised. When I ordered this shocky, I did not know how it was gonna go. They had a bunch of different colors. I think it is so perfect. Um, but yeah, this, these colors just happen to match perfectly. That was kind of like unplanned, but, um, let's just, you guys look at the outfit, this bag. I was actually going to save this bag for a different live where I was going to do designer inspired looks for less. And we can't say who inspired the look. I can assure you that it is giving the look for less. And I love this tote. I think this is perfect right now in summer. Like if you just want to wear this with a dress, like that green dress that I had on, or even something like this, it's neutral. So you can totally just wear this as a tote bag right now. Um, but I think that with something like this, this sort of tweed inspired material lends itself so well to fall fashion. I just think that this is really cute. It just so happens to match the lighter color, like in the top and in the shacket perfectly. Um, so I do have to give this one a shout out. Um, speaking of accessories, I put these in here because I did get some questions about hair claws. I wear hair claws all the time. So if you're like me and you want something to put your hair back, these ones have been working really well. I've had them for a couple of weeks and they came in like a four pack. There's a bunch of different colors. Lindsay asks, what size is that shacket? This is a 2XL, Lindsay, which is my normal size. Don't mind me throwing things, you guys. Um, let me just double check the label for you really quick. I'm 90% sure that it is a 2XL. I'm an 18 plus size, so I almost always order a 2XL, assuming that it's going to be like an 18, 20. And yep, extra, extra large. So this is the 2XL or XXL. Very true to size, comfortable, didn't feel restricted, even with a long sleeve shirt on underneath it. Um, but overall, I was extremely pleased with this. Rochelle Johnson asks, does the bag come with a longer strap? Good question. I don't think that one does. I'm 80% sure. No, it just comes with these shoulder straps that you could use like this or the top handles. So that is a good thing to know if you want a long strap or crossbody. I would say probably not this one. 
However, there is another really cute bag that I got that I was going to show you guys that I think would work really well for fall as well. So this, I generally carry small bags day to day because I like to use something that's like a crossbody. I don't carry a lot of stuff with me. Now this is actually two different items. This comes with this long tan strap here. So this is the bag and it comes with this strap. But I also found, because that strap is removable, how cool are these sort of like guitar strap style? There's so many prints, so many colors, stripes, all kinds of stuff. It's adjustable, happy to report. It also makes the strap longer, so it is plus size babe approved on my end at least. It actually sits all the way down on the hip. I'm gonna come a little closer so you guys can see. This one I picked is like a burgundy and cream and olive, sort of a Southwest geometric inspired print, which I love because I feel like the colors go really well with everything that I ordered for fall. But they have a ton of different options. They also have silver hardware, so depending on which bag you get or what bag you wanna use it on. But I thought that this was such a fun way to take a really neutral bag that you could wear to work or dinner or whatever, make it a little more casual, make the strap a little bit longer, make it a little bit more comfortable, all that fun stuff. So, hi, hey Trisha. Of course, Lindsay. Um, I can try on the sunflower dress if you'd like. Yeah, you guys, I'm totally flexible. We're just hanging out. Um, but I was really, really pleased with the quality of this and the length of this when I got it in because I wasn't sure how it was gonna work with the bag, obviously, because these are two separate items, but I do love it and I think that it is a great way to take a neutral bag and really add like a little bit of fall vibes with it. I mean, I can see myself off camera in my little preview and I think it is very cute. <laughs> but you could also wear this like with that burgundy t-shirt I was wearing at the beginning and little jean skirt, that would be really cute. Um, while we're talking about bags before I change, I have to give a shout out. This is not a specific, not for a specific outfit, um, but kind of back to school seasons coming. If you travel for work, if you work in a school setting, whatever, anybody who needs a backpack or laptop carrier of any type, I got this bag in specifically for the purposes of travel, but it would work for so many different people that I wanted to show it to you guys. It comes in a bunch of different colors. Um, it's just fa fabulous, it's fantastic. Uh, I got this pink color, which is actually kind of like a, a heathered red. It is a backpack, so there are shoulder straps. It also has these tote bag straps, but this is the cool thing, okay. Look at how it opens. It's like this hinged, sort of like wide mouth opening. It has a sleeve for your laptop inside that's secure. It has a bunch of pockets. It has these RFID protected pockets on the outside for your credit cards and things like that. Um, it has a pocket in the back underneath the mesh. So if you're traveling, you can keep things you want to be really secure there. It has these expandable like bottle holders on the sides. I just was so in love with it when it came that I had to show it to you guys because I know so many folks are getting ready for like back to school, back to work, back to office, back to in-person. And I think this is super, super cute. like play to your personal style or the look that you're going for but also a nude bag like that little crossbody works all year round there's no doubt about it you can wear that for four seasons but if you just have a couple of alternating straps you can make it look really really spring summer really really fall winter totally changes the look of the bag and it really does it's kind of like we talk about this sometimes when something comes with a belt how removing the included like fabric belt and replacing it with a different belt sometimes totally upgrades the look because it looks like you customized it. I feel like that's the same exact thing with the bag strap. So it's such a good idea. I love the way that you put that. Um, hey Tink, thank you so much. Um, alrighty, so somebody asked about the sunflower dress. I'm happy to try that on. Before I switch into that, I did wanna show you guys a couple of other things that I think would be really good um, over pieces. Not necessarily just with this outfit, but I did find this and I thought that it was worth mentioning. This is, I'm gonna try this on with a different top. Um, this is a longer, really lightweight cardigan that has sort of this boho look with this lace trim along the edges and along the front. This is also very true to size, and I think this would work for work. I think you could make this kind of edgy. I think you could put this over that like black skull tee, 
so many different things. I love it. I just had to show it to you guys. Um, I will come back to it and talk about it a little bit later, though. Ashley was asking for a closer look at the shirt. Sure. Uh, the shirt that I'm wearing, Ashley? I think so. This one here? This, these are real buttons, by the way. I have them unbuttoned. But um, it's kind of like a waffle Henley style knit with buttons. It did come in multiple colors. Pretty like, I would call it medium length. Again, true to size, not ultra fitted through the midsection. I would say it's more of a relaxed fit. And again, not even tight in the arms. Sometimes I have that issue. I didn't experience that at all with this one. So I hope that helped. Um, I had a request to try on the sunflower dress, so I will try that on before we move on to too much other kind of fall stuff. Um, and then I'll switch into some jean options, maybe some other jeans, but I do want to give these one last shout out before I switch out of them. If you are looking for a really stretchy jean option, these come in both denim colors and then like colors like this and very comfortable, very stretchy, real pockets, three buttons at the waist. If you're between sizes, in my opinion, I would have considered sizing down because they are that stretchy. So just keep that in mind. You might want to take a closer look at the sizing, but I did like them overall. Also, the boots that I'm wearing right now, these are the wide calf Dr. Scholl boots and they are very, very comfortable. I don't feel the need to break them in or anything like that. They're, as soon as I put them on, they're very comfortable. So before I take them off, just in case anybody was, was looking for those details. Um, sunflower, tall boots and jean jacket. I think that sounds great. Um, do you guys want to see the over the knee boots or do you want to see them see it with these? Because we can absolutely talk about those over the knee boots too. I got a lot of requests for over the knee wide calf boots this year. I know that that can be really hard to find in plus size. But y'all let me know. Did I try on the green top, the leopard print one? Hmm, Kylie, great question. I'm not sure which one that is. Is it this one, the green short sleeve? Does it say leopard print? But I'm wondering if maybe it came in a leopard print. It is the green short sleeve t-shirt. Esque okay, top. I have not tried that on yet, but I gladly will. I'm gonna put these same um, wide cap boots back on you guys with this dress because I think that this dress is long enough where you wouldn't be able to see the top of the over the knee boots anyways. So for the sunflower dress, what do we think? This was a try on by request. I love this dress. Comes in a ton of colors and prints. I'm partial to sunflowers just because I think it's great for the season. It does have pockets. Really, really soft, stretchy, and comfortable. I think that this is just like a classic example of how to um, style a summer dress going into fall, right? You add boots, you add a jean jacket, you're good to go. <laughs> Ashley, cute, thank you. Um, I really like this. This is just right up my alley. This would be great to go, again, just about anywhere, day date, picnic, pumpkin patch, sunflower field. Do you guys have sunflower fields where you live? They plant them here, like specifically, I think people to go and visit basically <laughs> to take pictures, but they are very pretty. And I think that this would be perfect for that. But again, if sunflowers aren't your thing, don't be deterred. Look at the cut and the shape of the dress because it comes in so many colors and prints. It's super comfortable, super stretchy. So um, something to try if you like the, the look of the dress, even if you want a different color. Um, yes, Nikki, adorable. Oh yeah, you could totally use this bag. Again, this is that bag that I really think is so neutral that you can wear this with just about anything. Um, this kind of light taupe color is pretty much year round. 
that's why I got this one. This also comes in other colors though. So if you want something, I think that they had some darker colors, some grays, um, different things like that. So lavender fields. Yes, we also have lavender fields in Southern California as well. A lot of times the same place will plant lavenders and sunflowers. It might be that maybe the climates that are required for both are similar. I'm not sure, but um, does anyone have any questions about the wide calf boots? Because we're going to be talking a lot about wide calf boots this season as we move forward. We'll, just, we'll include more of them in future lives. But I did want to answer any questions about these just in case anybody has any because I know the struggle for shopping for wide calf boots. They are very, very comfortable. Um, what bras needed for this dress? Cindy, great question. I'm wearing a regular one just because that's what I happen to have on. Um, it is a spaghetti strap dress, so whatever you would be most comfortable in. If you want to wear a strapless or um, clear or you could do like a lace bralette style where it's intentional um, totally up to you but it is a spaghetti strap so something to keep in mind um, what other jacket could you pair with this Ashley good question I think that you could probably do this tan I haven't shown this one yet Maybe this, I have this like tan jacket, especially if you wanted to do this tan bag. I think that that would be really, really cute for a more casual look. Um, you could definitely do, I wouldn't personally do this one myself only because this is cream and this is white and I have a weird thing about that for me, but this does come in other colors. So you could absolutely do this jacket. I'm gonna try this on just for shape. So you guys can see and for some of you maybe you like mixing white and cream i know that that's like a thing for a lot of folks this actually probably looks pretty good um this comes in other colors so you know like a green would be really adorable to pull out the green in the leaves um but this cut i think works still with the dress lots of different options if you got another jacket in a different like the plaid one but not plaid you could do that also Lots of different things you could do. This actually, I'm looking at this on camera and I think it looks pretty cute together, so. Yeah, I actually, I would wear this. I know I said that I wouldn't, but I think that I probably would. Cute. Um, I am gonna show you this other jacket because I just happened to pull it out right now. This is like a waffle jacket. Not just for this dress, just in general. I thought that this was really cute for that like relaxed kind of boho style um, fall look. Let me cut this off though. Do you have a scissor? Thank you. Um, I was actually trying to get like a very specific look that I was having a hard time finding in plus size and I found this and I think that it's perfect. It's that oversized, very boho very flowy. This is my normal size. And as you can see, it definitely has like a slight oversize to it. Again, not just with this dress, but this bag and this, I think match perfectly together if you want to mix and match those. Um, so you could do something like this. This also comes in other colors. So if you wanted to do this, like in an all that the light olive green would look really, really cute. So yeah, Rochelle, I wasn't sure I was going to like it, but I would wear that together too. That cream one. Um, okay. I wanted to show you guys a couple of other jean options. These are a pair of jeans that I got so many questions about. I will put them on and I'm actually going to put them on with the over the knee boots so that you can see what they look like. These jeans, now these, this exact pair of jeans, I believe only comes up to a size 20. I'm not hundred percent sure you're going to want to look at the product listing. Um, James ordered me these and they are the skinny olive green jeans. However, if you're looking for a plus size option, those tan jeans that I just had on also come in white olive. So, if you're looking to get the look, there are a couple different options, but I do want to show you how to style some colored denim because I think that this looks really good with boots also. And I was trying on the green shirt that somebody was asking about because I think it'll look good with those jeans. Susie was asking, what size is that jacket you had on? This, I believe Susie is a 2X, let me double check. Yes, extra, extra large. I think everything I ordered was just about like my normal size and just happen to fit really well. We love when that happens, right?
Alrighty. Let's try this outfit. Tell me what you guys think. So, someone was asking about this green kind of v-neck t-shirt. I want to show before I cover it up with a jacket. Of course, Susie, anytime. Now, I like the monochromatic look, but by all means, this shirt came in a ton of different colors. So if you want, and the jeans come in a bunch of different colors. I also own these in the dark wash denim look. Um, so you could mix and match however you like. Wide calf over the knee boots, you guys. What a find, what a find. Now I just opened these last night and I haven't even adjusted the back. So don't mind the little paper on the tassels, but they were so well fitting that I didn't even need to use the zipper. Now the zipper is only about the bottom third of the shoe, but I'm gonna just put my hair up real quick so you guys can see the back of the jacket. So, so comfortable. Now these have a slight heel, not really high, but it is a block heel. So it's very comfortable. I was really surprised for a fashion boot to be this comfortable as soon as you put it on. And again, not feel like you have to break it in a whole bunch. What a treat, right? Um, Lindsay, Ashley, so cute. Pants are true to size, Ashley, great question. So I'm actually wearing these in the 18. This is the, this is the style that I believe only goes up to a 20. I would reference the product if you guys are looking just to make sure. You could always do another color in that tan pant that I was just wearing and it would give you the same look. But yes, I'm wearing the 18 regular in these, which is my regular size. They fit perfectly. There's no gap in the waist. They're stretchy. They have pockets. These were an absolute epic find. Um, block heel, Nikki. So not a skinny little heel. Yes. So Cali look, right? I just realized this jacket has pockets right here. If I wasn't already sold, I'm double sold. I'm getting every color. Okay. But I think that this is also just like a really, really sharp looking fall look. Let me know what you guys think. I think you could do a really cute hat with this too. Um, obviously you could add in this neutral bag, very chic. You could mix up your accessories. You could do, oh, this would look really good. Because I happen to get this removable strap that has this olive green in it. And then the tan. So if you wanted to, you could do a little crossbody look. You guys, get out of town. It's so cute. <laughs> Tink and pockets. Ashley, I was like, I didn't even notice. Who would think the jacket would have pockets? And they're in the good spot. Please tell me you guys know what I mean when I say they're in the good spot. Like, Sometimes pockets, it's nice to have them, but they put them in a really weird spot that's like hard to get to. Like they're so far back, you have to come in from behind to get into the pocket. Or they're like not angled, and so they're just straight in and then everything falls out. These are good pockets. Oh my gosh, yes. Yes. I didn't pull any hats for today, Susie, but stay tuned. We're going to do a whole fall accessory at some point live. Um, where we'll talk more in depth about things like tights, hats, more bag options, um, jewelry, everything like that. So um, stay tuned for sure, and we will we will do that. But I think that this is really really cute. I love this bag. You can also do the tote bag. And obviously, I wanted to show you guys how cute and comfortable and well fitting these over the knee boots are. You could do the other boots. You could do a booty. You could do a sneaker whatever you're comfortable in. These are adjustable at the back to give you some customization and hold them up here. Don't mind that these tassels are still packaged because they just came in. Um, I did want to show you a couple of different options with your shackets to change up the look. So this is that waffle shacket, which again, I think it's a slightly more casual look because the material is less structured but still really, really cute. Again, you can easily work in your bag. You could do this top in a contrasting color if you don't like green on green. If you wanted to do cream or black or anything like that, I think it would be really, really cute, but I love these colors together. 
Um, I would say so. Thank you. I love these boots. They're so comfortable. Um, the jeans come in long and short. I'm five foot five. If I want them to just hit the ankles, should you get short? Cindy, I can't say for sure, but that would be my guess because I'm five foot eight and I got the regulars. So I would guess that that sounds about right to me. I, I, I would follow your logic there. Um, but this is another really great jacket option. And then of course you can always do the jean jacket. So I feel like we're doing kind of like a capsule wardrobe concept today where a lot of things are gonna work back to a lot of other things. Um, now, if you're a little bit, well, I don't know if edgy is the right word, but if you're a Halloween fan, I am gonna slip on this graphic tee really quick. Um, that one I wore at the very beginning would also be perfect, just to give this a shout out real quick, you guys. This was a shirt that we tried on really early on in the live, it's a graphic tee. The colors in this would be absolutely fantastic with these, um, boots and with some of the different shackets so definitely something to take into consideration oh yeah 100 percent Lindsay. this is really cute though but i want to try on this shirt that i haven't tried yet for those of us that love maybe a spooky season moment all year which is me i'm the one that loves it Anybody else? Is anybody else like really into Halloween season? I'm gonna put this jacket with it so you guys can see. This top is actually quite a nice length. Thank you, Rochelle. I'm so glad. Yay, Susie, we're gonna be twins. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna be so happy. You guys, if you follow me on um, any other platforms and you happen to send me a message, with your, with your outfits, it would make me happy. <laughs> um, okay, so this is this t-shirt. Now this is a slightly distressed tee, okay? Um, so I know that's not gonna be for everyone. That's totally fine. Favorite time of year, same. Halloween is year round. Yes. Okay, <laughs> y'all get me. Um, this does have some small distressing details. As you can see on the neckline here, I wanna show you, I think on the sleeve, I don't want anyone to get this and be like, it's damaged. It's not, that's definitely the style. But this outfit has my Halloween loving heart written all over it. Um, again, this jacket, this technically is black and white. This did come in other colors as well. This jacket is cream. It doesn't cause me any distress. I think it looks really nice together. Um, it also doesn't bother me to wear black with brown because this brown is more of like a tan. So I actually think it's like very fall appropriate. But this does come in other colors and there would probably be some really, really cute outfitting options if you wanted to mix up the color. I got this because I thought it was great to wear with um, the jean jacket or this black kind of boho cardigan. So that was my uh, thought process there. But I think this is, again, a really, really fun. Um, is that shirt long or mini? I would say it's pretty long because I'm five foot eight and it's coming at least mid booty and pretty much the whole zipper is covered on me. So I love these together. I think that this is a really cute fall vibe. Again, with the pockets, we got lucky on this one. Um, lots of cute ways you could style this. Just super easy to mix and match all of your favorite things. Um, now, speaking of this, I have one more pair of jeans that I wanna show you guys. One of the requests that we've been having a lot is for flare jeans. I found a pair that I really, really like the fit of. Before I put them on, I do wanna be 100% with you guys. I am five foot eight, and I wish they were about two inches longer on me. If you are five, six or under, I think they're gonna be perfect. I'm gonna show them to you with the booties because that's how I would wear it, but by all means, you could wear sneakers, sandal, whatever you want. Um, they are super stretchy, very, very comfortable. Um, you're going to see them on in just a second. They did come in a few different washes, so I want to slip these on. I would probably wear them with this exact t-shirt. I think it would look really cute. Um, but for those of you who have been looking for a stretchy flare, this, I think, is a really, really nice option. Again, you're going to see the length on me, but just remember that I am 5'8". So if you are not as tall as me, then it will look different on you. Um, 
if you are as tall as me or taller than me, then you're going to get to see exactly the length. Um, I might still wear them, even though they're slightly shorter. It's just for me personally, ideally, I probably would have liked them a couple of inches longer. So I'm going to slip these on and we're going to talk about them. I get a lot of requests for shorter length jeans because most people are not five foot eight. Um, so actually probably will work really well for a lot of you. I'm putting these booties back on you guys and I really cannot emphasize how comfortable they are. Really, really nice. Okay. So these are the flares. I got these in a 2X, which is my normal size. Very comfortable. Very, very cute. Very stretchy. Black on black. Yeah. Yeah, Rochelle. So as you guys can see, they're not super, super short. It's actually under tuck there. And I have a heel on because these booties have about an inch and a half. Okay. But keep that in mind. Depending on what kind of shoe you plan on wearing. Can you guys see the length okay? I still think, the reason I, I put them in the show is because I still think they're a really good jean. I love the feel. I love the cut. Yeah, Ashley, very close to me then. Um, somebody made a really good point uh, in the comments. They said they struggle to find plus size flares that are fitted to the knee. Because these are so stretchy, no problem. These are fitted all the way to the knee. They're very, very comfortable. So I did want to show them. I still think that they're really cute. Um, no, April, great question. I don't think that's necessary personally. I ordered my regular size and it fit perfect. They're just very comfortably stretchy. I don't think that they're like so stretchy that you need to go down a whole size. Um, for me, they, they were true to size. So it was more to do with the comfort stretch than like the sizing stretch, if that makes sense. So I hope that that answered your question. For me, I stuck with my regular size and it was just fine. So if you want like a more boho look, I think with the flares, this is like a very, this is very me also. These boots though, I don't wanna keep bouncing around on items you guys, but these, these are the booties. They come in wides. This is the wide foot. If you have a wide foot, I cannot tell you how comfortable these shoes are. They are the perfect little bit of a heel, like an inch heel. I don't like wearing high heels. They're great, 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 great. Um, and again, for the length of pants, I'm five foot eight. So if you're any shorter than me, take that into consideration. They will be just about probably floor length, even with an inch and a half booty on you, um, which would be perfect. in black would look fantastic with these exact same booties in black but I did want to show you the fit of this cardigan it's like a three-quarter length sleeve cardigan but with lace so it gets you almost bracelet length super soft and stretchy true to size I love the lace trim has that boho look I think you could probably dress this up if you wanted to wear it for going out or even for work if you had just like a solid colored shell with black pants or a skirt or whatever, it would probably look really like dressy, but I also love the look with a distressed jean to make it a little bit more rock and roll. Um, and again, I think that this is a really easy way to talk about wearing this exact same outfit with either sneakers or sandals right now. I could wear this today, 75 degrees outside. I could wear jeans and a t-shirt, add boots, add this cardigan. You're ready to go for fall. Um, speaking about fall, I did want to show you guys a couple of other things that are, they're not so much like specific outfits, but just things that I've been loving lately that I think I will be wearing a lot into fall. So this is very random. Work with me here though. Okay. For anyone watching who's plus size, 
I think I might just include this robe in every live until it is completely sold out. The struggle to find robes that fit, this is not an outfit, this is just a try on. The struggle is real, you guys. This is a 1XL. We can see the overlap, the room, I'm not even pulling it tightly. This comes in, where's my, there we go, my belt. About a million colors and it's very affordable. Price will change by color and price and availability. Comes in a ton of colors and I believe it comes up to a 6XL. We love a size inclusive moment. So for yourself, while you're getting dressed, while you're thinking about fall when it's gonna get a little cooler in the mornings and you have to get ready and you're not just wearing tank tops and shorts from pajamas and you have to you know, get ready for work or whatever in the mornings and it's a little bit chillier in your house, it's gonna be robe season. If you're looking for gifting, if you're thinking ahead to gifting season, I told James, I'm like, I'm getting everyone I know of one of these robes. They're so, so soft, super, super plush. I work from home, so for me, this could also just be a regular fall outfit but I just wanted to give this its little moment um, because it is so darn comfortable, so soft and fits so true to size, comes in such a good size range and it is just affordable. Um, so I had to talk about that. Talking about kind of cozy home looks for summer to fall, um, this is two different pieces of loungewear. These are both gonna be linked in the carousel as well. Oh, birthday wish list, love the lace detail. Yeah, and it did come in other colors too, PBR. Um, these are two separate items. They come in multiple colors and I believe these come up to a 5XL. These lounge shorts, I absolutely love. The quality is amazing, the fit, there's pockets. They are so, so cute and comfy and right now they're fantastic. There's also this oversized hoodie that matches. Again, the material on this feels like a $100 hoodie. It's not your average fleece sweatshirt. The feel is like smooth, it's stretchy, it almost has a cottony feel to it, really comfortable. Obviously for lounging around the house right now, these are fantastic. Again, they come in other colors, if purple's not your thing, um, but this will look great with jeans when it's just fall season, all right? Um, so you don't have to take the shorts into fall if that's not gonna work for you, but these are just such great lounge pieces to have. Now, I'm actually gonna put this on to show you guys the fit because it is an oversized hoodie. We get asked a lot about hoodies um, just because it's such a real part of just everyday dressing. I mean, we all use hoodies. Now this is designed to be oversized. So when you see the fit, this is my true size that I ordered and it is a relaxed body, um, which I think is really great to know so that you can order the size accordingly. If you want it to be more streamlined, you're probably gonna wanna size down. I like the oversized fit. I love these thick kind of ribbon neckties. I just think that it's so cute. I want this in the brown. I believe it comes in a brown. Um, and I just think it's really, really cute. Really, really comfortable, really soft. So I wanted to give a shout out to this kind of loungewear set. They're sold separately, but they do match. Another item that I have been loving, and I've talked about this before, is this two-piece set. Now this is sold, yes, the teal is gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, like this deep teal. Um, yeah, it would be perfect for winter. Yeah, this is, I mean, I live in California too, so this is a perfect winter weight sweatshirt. This lounge set, if you will, I ordered specifically because I took a 40-hour trip to Bali last month. And I wore this the whole way, comes in different colors, this is the 2XL, and now this is sold as a set. The reason I wanted to show this is because I just think that this is gonna be clutch going into fall. This can be worn, this is a nice t-shirt by itself. You can wear this with jeans, with shorts, with that cute little jean skirt we showed at the very beginning with your sneakers. I got the olive, but it comes in a bunch of different colors, so you can wear this now. You can wear it at home as loungewear. We've all seen the styling that is going on. This set with a jean jacket and white sneakers, so cute. These pants with a graphic tee and a shacket and sneakers, really, really cute. So, you know, we're taking athleisure and kind of styling it. We've been seeing some really great styling lately for going outside the house. I just wanted to give this a shout out because it's affordable. If it's true to size, it's comfortable. 
I've very much lived in this and can tell you from experience that having had to wear it for longer than I would have even liked to wear one outfit, it was still comfortable. So I would definitely take a look at that set. Um, it's featured right down in the carousel and it's really, really good. It's perfect for the plane. Yep. It's great for the plane. But again, you could totally style those pieces separately and wear it a bunch of different ways. Um, I do want to mention these tank tops in case you see them down in the carousel. I didn't need them today, but I wanted to show them to you guys. Um, these actually come in a four pack. I pulled the black and the white because these are the ones that I wear the most. Um, these are crop tops that did come in plus sizes. If you live somewhere really warm like I do right now, and you're like, girl, I can't even think about shackets and whatever else. I think that if you wear crop tops, which I do, um, this is a great option to pair with some of these over pieces. Like I said, if it gets cool at the beach at night, you could totally do a crop top with like this little cardigan or even under a jean jacket um, with bell bottoms and then a shacket over it. So I wanted to show you guys because they are something that I do use regularly to layer a bunch of different styles over them. Um, and I really liked them. They're true to size. They're very comfortable. They're really affordable considering they came in a four pack and I believe they come in a bunch of different four packs. So you can choose the colors um, that work for you. Yeah, very good for the plane. Um, yes, oh fun, you're gonna go to Florida. Fun, 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 yeah. That is a great travel outfit. So if nothing else it is a really good option for traveling, if you need something that's gonna like still look to pull together. We talked about that the other day about how no matter what I'm doing, if I'm wearing a matching set, I just feel like a little bit more pulled together. So even if you have to get up at five in the morning for an early flight because you continually book flights that are too early, <laughs> me, um, you can still feel like you kind of have it together. Um, all right, you guys, I think I've shown you just about everything that's on the rack. Let me know if there's anything you have specific questions about that I've shown so far. I don't think I missed anything, but I'm happy to answer any of your questions about sizing, about materials, about anything else, let me know in the comments. And um, I hope that you liked everything. This was so fun for us though. I really tried to pick some stuff that would work now and would take you into fall and that you could mix and match. So if you got four or five things, you could really make a lot of different looks. You could take one jacket and work it with a lot of different items. So early flights are the worst. Ashley, what is your favorite outfit? Oh, that is tough. Okay, I'm gonna have to say Probably the green pant over the knee boot, green shirt, white jacket. Let me show you, which I would not have thought this was gonna be my favorite when we had started, but once I put it on and I saw it, I had kind of held it up and tried everything on separately. So actually, okay, there's two. There's two and I'm sorry, I know you said favorite, but there's two outfits and I'm just, I can't, I can't pick my favorite. These jeans, Okay, and then I had this green shirt here, this green v-neck that has these cute little like ruffles on the hem almost. Let me just show you guys, do you see the sleeve? It has these cute ruffles. So I did like this monochromatic top and then I had the over the knee boots with the cream jacket and the bag. Loved that look, love, love, loved. Equally up there for me, was the kind of brownish tan khaki pant, which I'm going to show you here. I love fall fashion, so I'm definitely leaning heavy into the fall looks, I know, versus summer. These pants with the Henley, with the matching jacket, with the brown boot, and I'm like holding up six items right now. Work with me with this. Do you guys remember this outfit? It's very pulled together. <laughs> if I do say so myself, accidentally, it was just magical that it came together like that. Um, but I really love like a true fall look and I love finding boots that fit my wide calves. So for me, both of those looks, um, sunflower boots and jean jacket. Really, really cute. Really, really cute, yeah. <laughs> Kylie, you're so funny. Rochelle, thank you so much. I'm so glad, I'm so glad that you liked it. Um, 
do you think you can do a video live about Amazon jewelry? Great idea, Ashley. We are gonna do a whole accessories live. Um, the jewelry that I'm wearing is linked in the carousel. I actually specifically ordered this to get the look for less from a more expensive necklace that I usually wear and I'm really pleased with it. I like the length. I have quite a large neck. I am plus size after all. So this was, I believe, 20 inches. So many fashion necklaces I find are like 16 inches. So this one sat at a nice place for me. And then these earrings came in a pack of like six. So they were very affordable and they're very lightweight. But we will definitely do more jewelry. We'll probably group it together with like an accessories live where we'll talk about bags and hats and things of that nature. Um, but yeah, we can absolutely do more accessories. And um, if there's anything else specific that you guys want to see, let me know. We are happy to do it. Um, a couple of other themes that we have coming up are business or office looks. We're also going to do Halloween. Um, I always get a lot of requests for Halloween themed clothing and then Halloween costumes and plus sizes. So we will absolutely be doing some of that in the next month or so. So uh, keep an eye out for that. I'm really, really excited because as you guys know, I love Halloween. So if there's any other questions that you guys have about anything that I've tried on today, please let us know in the comments. Otherwise, that's about it for us. Um, I hope that you had as much fun as we did. I had so much fun hanging out with you guys. Thank you for chatting with me during my very first Amazon Live. I'm so excited to have been here. Um, not yet, Nikki, but I just have had it for like three days. So I will, I will report back. But so far, no issues. No issues yet. Um, I look forward to seeing you guys again soon on another one of my live streams. Um, until then, I hope that you have an amazing day. Happy shopping. Bye, you guys.